Dummy Bonson has had time to sleep and consider the ramifications of this potential war we're throwing our people into. Thousands of lives will be lost. Thousands of ducats, potentially, straight down the shitter. So instead, Dummy Bonson, the humble man, he's not humble at all, but he is kind, he is just, he is, he is honest, he knows that he's only lying to himself with this war. Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to turn it around on them and subjugate them? That's an option, sure. But it's not an option for Gummy Bonson. He's not a, he's not a, he's not a commander. He's no marshal. We are going to... And it's, this is rare I would do this in CK2 because it's not my personal playstyle. But this is the whole point of the series. We're going to surrender. We're going to surrender. But, my friends, we're not surrendering because we're cowards. He's, this man is no craven. Gummy Bonson, the perfect normal man, is not a perfect normal craven. He's ambitious. And he knows that the true power... True powers and money, my friends. We're going to take him over from the inside. Let them let them come. Unless this gives us immediate game over. Thank fuck for that. Unless it gave us a game over, which point we wouldn't. We're now part of the realm of Maharaja Dharmapala of the Dharmapalid Kingdom Allah. I would assume is what the rest of that says. So, the Croissant Kingdom has returned, but now under a different color. No longer does it say bearer over the top. It just says, unfortunately, whatever it says now. We'll take him over from the inside, because this man has other vassals, which we can go to war with. And in fact, the kingdom is almost equally split. In fact, it's more than equally split here, between this guy and whoever this random duke is here. We are on the same level as that duke. We can go to war with this guy, and it's going to be a lot easier to go to war with a guy with 2,800 men than it is with a guy with 5,000 men, potentially more. So we're going to do something I wouldn't normally do in CK2, surrender for the purposes of taking him over from the inside. Very easy to do as well. I mean, kind of surprisingly easy to do in Secret 2. We've done it before with certain empires. Do you have any cast spell against him immediately? Just no valid cast spell right now. So if we wanted to, we could start fabricating claims. We're a low-sized kingdom. If we get a chancellor like him, it's a bit more, a bit more of a skilled chancellor. You know, once every five years. We could get enough claims to swallow up this entire duchy in a single war. In fact, we could probably do it before this guy dies. If, that, if that's his life goal, he's an ambitious man after all. He is an ambitious, greedy man after all. Swallowing up the entire round from the inside and this guy not having any saying it whatsoever. That could work. And we've proven that we can do this before. We did it in the Elder Kings, right? We swallowed up literally the whole of the Empire. Let's do it again. But this time, from the perspective of a perfectly normal man. Do you have anyone better we could chuck the rank of Diplomat? Because although the, 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 what was it, 17% chance the earlier fabricating claim is fine. I think we need to try and get everything we can out of it. Diplorange, yes. Join Corps. I mean, he's doing the youthful. Wait, what? I thought she's celibate normal. Wait. Oh, is, is he doing the... Wait, no, no. She's the eternal life mystic. Normally, she's celibate, but for some reason, she... Oh, she just will not marry, right? She probably uh, got took as a concubine or something like that. Can we invite you to court? What if we buy a favor? It is. If we can win this woman over, we can invite her to court. She could be our new diplomat with 26 diplomacy. I mean, what about this guy? He'd be even easier to invite to court, right? He's not related to anyone. He's not a high lord. He's, he's got 24 diplomacy. I'm not sure if women are allowed to be diplomats right now. Um, no, they're not. We're, we're set traditional, which as far as I know is, yeah, no women. All right. So we will go for this guy here, this Bodpa guy who is uh, somewhere up, probably even the same culture as us. What are we? Oh, we are. Okay, cool. So we can invite this guy to court and ideally win him over a little bit easier too. By a favor from me, he's already going to agree to it. We don't even need to send the gift with this guy. So this is going to hopefully save us a lot of time and effort. And our new liege wants us on board. I think we start plotting. We plot, We start scheming. We start antagonizing the Duke. We start swaying our liege lord. Let's start. Uh, let's start really playing CK2 how it should be played. I think. Get to court, my friend. This is our first big play right here. Is getting to go with any anybody above 24 march as far as I'm concerned is absolutely who we want on board. I'm going to send him a gift anyway because the attitude of the chancellor can actually affect the outcome of their their job. So right now we're up to still in 16% chance yearly, huh? Uh, well, that's a bit of a kick in the fucking teeth, given that I went to all that effort for it, but okay, that's fine. Um, don't take his capital first. If his spy master, what is it? Is it the spy master that can uh, find enemy spy master kicking around? I don't really remember, but well, let's not go for his capital first. In fact, we want to leave his capital till last, so we've got the least chance of being uncovered here. He wants us to be his commander. That seems like you're trying to get me killed, my friend. No. If he wants us to be his steward, fine, we'll do that. Absolutely, there's no reason to not do that, right? So we can, another thing I need to clear up as well, people were a little bit concerned about the golden bloodline. So one of the ways of doing it is turning around to Republic and, and it seems like there was concern that that was the only way we could do it. That's not true. The The ways you can do it is becoming, uh, doing 100 trades as well is an alternative way to get around that uh, founding a Republic one. That was just an or rather than an and. So we don't actually have to found the Republic, don't worry, it's still possible uh, in this scenario to get that golden bloodline. That's still what we're going for here. So speaking of which, let's go to the goddamn market. Market's lively and ready for business. Are we buying or selling? What are you buying, stranger? What's that from? 
I want to say Dark Souls, but I don't think it is. Uh, I'll, I'll remember. Mark is lively and ready for start. What, what do you want to buy? I want to buy... What have you got? Uh, we've got gems. I think if we buy gold, we can forge ourselves some jewelry, right? Uh, let's take a look here. Contact affiliated artisans. So, jewels plus gold, I think it is. Uh, one gold plus one gem is two jewelry boxes and money. One gold, one silver is a wearable crown. One gold, one jewelry is wearable jewelry. So, we need to use the gold and the gem to make the jewelry boxes. And then, I assume, buy another gold with that jewelry to make wearable jewelry. So, I guess, a uh, necklace or... What's the other one? Like, um... Like a bracelet or something like that? I can't remember what it is. So, I think going for the gold is the sensible play here. If we really want to start building up, I mean, prestige, which of course we do. And it will give some opinion as well. They've only got silver right now. What does silver do? We can combine silver and... Can we combine silver and gems? Um, wearable crown. Oh, it's gold and silver. Shit, I'm reading the wrong thing. Maybe we'll go for seal. Try and craft ourselves a weapon instead. One steel and one gem is one ceremonial weapon plus one W and A. What is that? A oh, weapon and armor crate. Cool. Buy that. Buy that steel then. Contact the artisans. Uh, I have nothing for them. So these are the miners. I have nothing for the miners. I have nothing for the artists. I have nothing for the jewelers. I have nothing for the textile workers. But the blacksmiths are ready. So we can make a weapon fit for a ruler with steel and gems. We can then use that weapon for a ruler. The ceremonial weapons. I guess to have some sort of fancy military drill um, and use that on a province to give a levy size plus 20%. That's huge. That's actually a lot. Or, alternative, we, we get ourselves, I guess, that... Uh, or we get both, though, don't we? I don't remember what it said now in hindsight. Let's do it. We lose 75 assets, but it's not going to cost us anything more. And then we have to wait for them to finish that one. I hope, I'm hope i hoping that will count towards one of our Golden Bloodline things as well. So it's 100 trades. Like I said, it's a bit open-ended. I haven't actually seen all the comments from yesterday's episode yet, so I hope the mod make hasn't corrected me or anything here. Um, but I, I assume that counts towards it. Still got to pay off a little bit of debt too, but right now we're just at the second lowest one, right? Um, Temple Vassal Opinion minus 5. Yeah, yeah, we won't worry about that one too much. It's Temple Vassal Opinion and Bill Cost modifier plus 5%. Gives a shit, really. That's not really worth the 300 gold. Hey, there we go. We actually got Apprentice Trader. That's cool. So becoming a Master Trader is another one of the necessary steps. And I assume just by trying to fulfill the 100 trades, we'll n normally get up to that. So, chance that we have to do both anyway. That's cool. We're up to 27 stewardship now. You want me to be a chancellor? Really? You looked at this perfectly normal man. Looked at his perfectly normal stats and decided, you know what? Diplomat. That's what we wanted. Fuck it. Fine. I mean, worst case scenario, we get assassinated trying to fabricate claims for him. Hey! Oh, wow. I completely forgot we did that. We did the investment in silver, didn't we? We actually got three big crates of silver ingots. Man, business is, uh, is my middle name, huh? Time to look the part. So we get create weapons and armor, and we also get our our sword. Oh, so I guess it's create weapons and armor. If you put it on the province, that gives you the levy size. That makes sense. Cool. Boom. What do we get? Golden staff. Now, I think that's the lowest tier one. Quality two. I didn't actually see. So the emerald staff is the highest, right? Emerald or ruby. I don't remember. Um, that's pretty good. You know what? I'll tell you that. 0.3 month prestige. We're in a situation playing as a count, as a vassal of someone else, as a Buddhist, which is more about karma and things, whereby we're not going to get much prestige anyway. We don't have many means of going to war and actually gaining that prestige as we would normally. So that is a pretty big get as far as I'm concerned. Anything that will help with prestige. The peasants told the whole castle about a dragon they saw in the forest. Ooh, okay. Some gold might shut them up. He's... In, no, you know what? He's just... He's ambitious. He's greedy. That does not make any sense. Fearsome dragon. Thou doth not scare me. Gain one marshal. Dragons do not exist, right? We gain perturbed. We are freaked out by the dragon. We lose diplomacy. We gain prestige. Why? Prestige? For being scared of a dragon? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I will kill it and hang its head over my hearth. He approves of our bravery. Um, dragon, you do not scare me. Gain one marshal. Good work. Good work, Gummy Bonson. You're proving your bravery to people. He's not a coward like his father. And he's going to work, goddammit, to prove that to people. Who we? Who is she? Oh, my wife. We can write a letter to my wife who's telling me any kids. Hey, there we go. She's up for it, though. Plus 10 opinion. Nice work. Maybe we should flip to family focus for a while. We're still on the business front, even if we're not actually actively pursuing the business focus. We've still got that going in the background, huh? So, we're not going to lose the trader modifier, are we? Where the fuck is the trader modifier? Is it permanent? Tr trader? 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 Apprentice trader. No, no, no. From the from the business focus, you know you get trader. It gives you like you get like a starting out trader and then trader gives plus two stewardship. It's a temporary modifier. And then if you have that for long enough, you go up to Midas touched. Where is that gone? Oh well, I guess we haven't got anything to lose. We've literally got nothing to lose in this scenario. I think flip picking seduction would make more sense because we get the sex appeal and the fertility with that one. Whereas this one's obviously just the fertility. Don't really want the diplomacy either. Let's flip over to and what why are we able to pick that one? Um, I don't think I put much of a limit on that. Yeah, you just gotta not be educated in priestly manners. You don't have to be an ascetic, not celibate and capable or anything like that either. Um, my daughter, you will be trained in 
I mean, stewardship or learning would kind of have the same outcome there. It's not quite the same percentage chance, but it'll be more or less the same, because obviously brooding will cancel out Idolizer. Um, diplomacy also would be fine. I mean, if we're marrying her off as a bride to someone to try and get claims, whatever, we want them to like her. So if she comes at Grey Eminence, there's general opinion bonuses. We'll take that. Okay. Uh, OP counts positions. We've also need to set up a new chance. Fucking Sumnang, what happened? Fuck off, game. Really? Well, there's AT God. I'm never getting back. Good lord. Okay, fine. Um, I guess we'll go with Shansha. Shansha. Chaos is a ladder, Shansha. Uh, let's buy a favor. He might, he would, might agree if we can send him a gift. Uh, go on then. Let's try it. No. Fuck you. <laughs> We'd have to sway him a little bit more. I'm actually gonna go for that now. Fuck it. Because he's, uh, the most skilled diplomat. By far. More skilled than our previous one. So he's plotting to kill us. Did that say? What? What do you mean you're trying to kill us? Uh, Bonson Barbarian, you wouldn't be after my titles, would you? Title claim at minus 20. You're not trying to... You're trying to kill me, are you? Wife, take take over here. She's, she's a much better in, intrigue character anyway. And we can trust her loyalty. There we go. All it took was a little bit of sympathy. Did we actually gain sympathy for Jews there? We didn't, but that's what we could have got out of that event. Um, and then he will agree to our favor, and then we can agree to bring him over to court. 31, let's make sure he's married off so that the game doesn't think about culling him off, because that could have been what happened. It was cancer, so I very much doubt it. Normally they just say, disappeared, died of an unhealthy, whatever it is. I, I don't remember. Died of poor health, I think it actually says. So let's get him to court. Let's arrange him a marriage to someone as well. Just try and encourage him to kick around a bit more. Seng Gemo, cartographer of Barrow. I don't know who she is. I don't think she's anyone particularly relevant in the realm. There you go. Uh, who are you? Before I double check here. She's of house. <gasps> she's Deji's daughter. Oh, well, shit. In that case, great friend of my father, Deji. You will get yourself a skilled and influential husband because he will be the new chancellor of the realm. What are we looking at? Still 16%. We must be just naturally capped out on that. Fine. Does bum want to become kind or does bum be frail? Is is bum frail? Um, let's go for does bum become kind? But no, bum bum truly do be frail sometimes. Tell me some gold. There we go. Create a gold ingots. Thank you very much. So that's, uh, again, with the gold, we probably want to make it ourselves. So gold and silver made something, didn't it? Wearable crown. Sure, that's our next goal then. A tiger hunt. <gasps> He's inviting us to a tiger hunt. Absolutely. Please don't get killed by a fucking tiger. Oh, God. Um, so we passed the tiger hunt. We're fine. We're not dead. That's good. Do you want to play with high stakes and or low stakes? I mean, we are a genius. It's a game of cards. We're genius, we're ambitious, we're paranoid. That would help out with card games, and we're greedy. You know what? I mean, we're not like to cheat, though, because we are we are just, but let's play with the high stakes. Of course. Of course we would. We're a genius. If anybody knows how to manipulate money, it's our boy Gummy Bonson. I'm good at this. 54 gold, thank you. Is that like a uh, apprentice board game where we could potentially get out of that? I'm not entirely sure. Resident Evil. It was Resident Evil 4. Sorry, I just remembered. Um, right, okay. Do we want to go for... So we've already got the steel and the, uh, the silver and the gold. What else can we do with silver, then? Um... It's going to be something we can do with it, right? Silver, 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 silver. Not that I can see. We've got a mountain of silver. Really not a lot to do with it. We can invest it or sell it, obviously. Steel and a gemic ceremonial weapon. What do we need to make a combat weapon? Steel and lumber. Maybe we should make some armor and some weapons to cancel out our negative one personal combat here. So, one steel and one hide. Let's buy some steel. Perfect. We've got a mountain of gold anyway. We're making more money than we're actually spending going to market because of the cooldown on it. So, why the hell not? Artisans. <gasps> Wait, what did that say? A child's finished his apprenticeship under us. Oh, cool. So our steward now has a slightly higher stewardship. That's fine by me. Perfect. So we need to actually set up ourselves a new apprentice trader. We could take on our guru. Might not be too bad. Marisa Tay, our father's ex-wife there. We could bring her on board. Um, our wife. Why not? It would add to our state stewardship. You get half of your spells' stats added to your own. So even if it only gives her another... Oh, well, I'll send another plus one. That's, that's fine by me. Court position. You'll do. Do I trust Barbarian? Wants a seat on the council. Fired. Recently fired. Total claimant. Ambitious. Mmm. Barbarian, I'm not saying I don't trust you, but I don't actually trust you at all. All right. So we can get Crown of Majesty, Heavenly Circuit. Oh, man. We can get a whole bunch of different crowns. Any any crowns by the looks of it. Cool. Boom. We got a Hero's Crown. Is that any good? Uh, quality three. Oh, that is nice. So I guess they're all of various different qualities there. That is uh, one of the better crowns we could have got for. That would have been about 800 gold uh, to, to craft the uh, quality three. And you have to be a king, don't forget, to get the quality three jewelry from a smith. So we're actually getting fairly lucky with this stuff right now. The golden stuff, not as good as it could have been. But even then, we can't get that level until we're a duke. So we're doing better than expected, if that makes sense. I don't really care about you passing random crappy laws. Um, uh, my suggested law passed. Sorry? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it didn't. Um, do we, oh man, we can have a religious control mandate, I'm sort of, oh, that's in the county of Barrow. Um, what can we push in this kingdom then? I guess they just passed a law, right, so we'd have to wait a bit more. Um, oh, the council can't vote. Okay, fuck you then. Can we do something in our own realm? Chris, the opinion of, I mean, it's not going to make too much difference, because it's just a, 
It's just a county. The only one that would really make any difference at all is the status of women. That we need tolerance. Are we close to getting that? Oh, we are. Okay, so in the future, that's going to be somewhat relevant. Ooh, this one as well. The payback in hides. I wanted to come for hides anyway. 130 gold for that many hides. Does give buff 15% levy size in all units defense plus 10%. So it might be something to keep in a case of emergency. One of the things we've got to do as well to force the golden bloodline is fully upgrade our... Our... Um... Warehouse. So we also need, I believe it's uh, like uh, suits of armor and, and gold and silk for banners and things like that. Decorate your warehouse. What was it we need again? Let's take a look here. So we need incense. We need gold. We need silk cloth. Or we need books. None of which we have right now. I'm going to mark that as special interest so that if we do come across it, I don't forget to do it next time. We also have a mission to deliver trade goods. What do you want again? Um, They want meat. Okay, I've got to remember to buy meat next time as well. What the fuck? No. No. My wife was murdered because she was probably going to uncover the plot of silly, ridiculous Joris Bonson Jr. I said, do not trust him. Do not trust Bear Baron. None of these title claimants. You, my friend, have just... I'm, I'm done with you. Why would that lower opinion? He murdered my wife and we have proof of it. Yeah, they'll lower opinion. Oh, well, you shouldn't revoke his title. That's wrong. That's You should never do something like that. Fuck off. Get out of here. Uh, you are... Because we don't have title revocation, I assume. No, we do. That's ridiculous. Um, I might just revoke it and say, fuck it. Uh, I mean, what's the alternative? We imprison him and we kill him? Go for a rebellion, though. Hey, there we go. Okay, that works. Now we've definitely got revocation of his titles. Boom. You stand no chance because you have... I'm going to assume no man given that he's a temple. Uh, 200... Yeah, we've got this. This in the bag. Thank you, my friend. Oh. The cessation of violence... I've never been on the receiving end of this. The Cessation of Violence Act. Your slightly erratic leader has proclaimed a new law that's been upheld throughout the realm. Whereas the children of the realm have become desensitized to violence, whereas the general populace have lost all regard for the sanctity of human life, therefore, I, Maharaja, Dharmapala of the Dharmapala Kingdom, decree that all forms of video games to be banned. I knew video games caused violence. No, this is not insanity. He's a correct man. No more video games. Can we have a range of betrothal? Yes. She's only four, though. We're 33 and we have no kids. We'll be in our 40s before we get any sort of child. I'm, I might go for that because if we're in our 40s when our child is born, by the time it comes of age, we're going to be close to 60. And our father died at 60. So if we die and then our next character immediately takes over. If we don't forge the bloodline with this guy, the next guy's got all the years in the world to try and do it. It's Prodigy 2, plus 6 to everything. This is a, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, literally. This is all the women within Diplo Range with Prodigy. And it's, I mean, there's 50 years between them. I'm going to take it. This might be a risky play, but I'm, I'm absolutely going to take it. Worst case scenario, one of our stupid brothers inherit instead. Um, sorry, no, you are There we go. Right, okay. Betrothed can marry. Sorry, what? I was going to say, that was a bit young fucking hell. Uh, she's arrived at our court. What? Oh, that's a different girl. Oh, she's also astute, though, which is also pretty good. Um, Siri is old. Obviously, astute there gives plus four to everything, so slightly worse than genius. Welcome. Uh, you can absolutely... So, this is the king of somewhere. Is going to marry my half-sister, Bonson Bjorn, and she gets some prestige or something along those lines. We get the prestige, sorry. There we go. And who was... Who was that? That was my sister... Yeah, my younger sister, Bjorn, the lunatic depressed character. Perfect. Ambitious bum. Frail bum. Patient bum. Ambitious. You will be the most ambitious bum what has ever lived. You're also garbage, so I'm not going to pay any more attention to you. Okay, uh, I'm going to revoke that now, if you don't mind. Boom, he's a traitor. They cannot object. Perfect. Can we also uh, probably banish him from the round and take his gold, too, I assume? Uh, ba 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 banish Where is the banish button? Hello? Why can't I banish him? Oh, probably because he's a noble member of this family. Uh, we could release him, we can execute him, which also would give us the gold, but that would obviously be... I mean, we're getting 391 gold in exchange for Kinslayer. Terrible idea. We could, um, order him to take the vows. That would work. Can I, can I order him to take the vows, but keep the money that he's got? Fuck it. Just go. You know what? Take your gold. Take your ill-gotten gains and get the hell out of my court. I was joined my half-brother. That's worrying, too. Wait, my half-brother's landed? Another member of House Bonson has somehow gone out and gotten land? What the f- How did he manage that? Wait, history? He was granted it. Oh my god. This guy conquered it in a war. This guy died. The king inherited it. Who granted it to my half-brother. Who is his wife's- Right. Okay, so it's Bjorn's- Right, I've got him. Obviously, it's Bjorn's brother. It's our bloody brother. But this is Bjorn's husband. Who's granted our family- Oh, shit. Big brain plays right there. The house barely is spreading out across Tibet. Holy shit, we've got lucky with that, huh? Another large profit from that. I mean, it's 60% chance each time, so you, you would expect it. Right, okay, cool. So there's all of our hides as well. Back to the market once again. And we should also contact these guys as well. We've got everything we need for it. I might have just done that without actually having anything to give to these guys. Um, 
Armor made with steel and leather. Oh, cool. So we've got enough to actually make a suit of armor for us as well. Perfect. Do it. Let's head for market two. This guy says he's got the greatest deal of my life in exchange for 84 gold. Fuck it. Pouch of spices. That actually might not have been too bad for 84 gold. I have absolutely no clue, to be honest with you. Let's, um, so th th what we need to buy then is, is I want to actually decorate the warehouse as soon as possible because that just gives us passive bonuses. Books, cloths, incense, gold. Cool, there we go. So we, there's a chance of getting, oh my god, wow. So, chainmail armor, obviously the lowest. Then you've got splint mail armor, quality two, and then champion warden guardian is quality three. There is the quality four version, you need to be an emperor, you need to pay for the additional stuff for a thousand gold. So, we got warden, oh nice, we actually got the quality three. Oh, that's so fucking good. Martial plus one, defense, month, prestige, personal combat skill. Even then we're at minus nine, I guess, because we're wounded somewhat there. We're still wounded, huh? Ooh, that's a bit worrying. Let's move away from the seduction, folks. We don't need it now that we... I guess we could take... We can't take concubines, right? No, we can't. Uh, oh, we can. What the fuck am I doing? Take some concubines. Marisa Tay is right there, for God's sake. <laughs> Sloppy seconds and all that. Um, right, what are we looking for here? Uh, anybody with, with fair, strong, anything. Gimme, give gimme. Give uh, so these are women. Let's sort by... We should attract him strong. Perfect. Take us going, man. Please. Yes, you are a good and glorious man. There's fucking loads of them. Wait, 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 wait. There's another one. There's another one. Take us, take us going, man. No, she married. Why can't we take her? Take us. Con are we waiting for a response? Is it the same dude? That's probably why. There we go. Take concubine. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Look at this. Okay, right. So we've got three concubines now. Two of which are strong and attractive. Um, I feel like we should get rid of you then. You're 44, to be fair. All right. Goodbye. Um, we've got this woman Midas touched and strong. She can't take her as a concubine. Um, man, we got very lucky spotting those two. That was that was great. I won't worry about it too much then. Two concubines, strong, attractive. That'll do. Good work, bum. Great eminence. Good work. Holy shit. So that's plus five general opinion, plus the 13 stewardship as well. She's lustful. Yeah, okay. I think we could potentially get some good alliance out of it. She does have frail, which counts as a negative for arranging certain marriages. I can marry her to my half-brother. Um... I suppose that's not too bad when you consider the amount of shared genetics they've actually got. That's like cousins, essentially, even further than that, I guess. Um, okay, cool. So, there's no one really in our realm I want to marry you off to. We, we want to marry for claims and things, too. I don't even want to worry about that. Groom and heir. Ah, oh, shit. So we've lost 20% fertility by her. Should have, should have assassinated. Should have killed her dead. Jet the poison agreed. Defeat fear. Wait, are we craven? Oh, we're paranoid. Honestly, keep it. Keep it. Let's make a friend instead. So using those hides that we got, we can also make some books. Books go in the warehouse. That's another thing ticked off the list for the Golden Bloodline. I think we can do it. I was, I was a little bit concerned that this might be a bit too difficult, but I think this is uh, this is something we should be able to do here. Oh, God, another one. Well, what are we getting this time? Silk cloths. We need silk. I think we need silk for the banners, so absolutely. Perfect. There's the pile of books, and then we can uh, decorate a warehouse with that. Still bookshelves. Perfect. Warehouse decorated with books. What does that do for us? I, th I don't think we can have all of them at the same time. So you have to pick and choose. But I think you you decorate them and then you activate them by equipping and unequipping them. I remember before this system was in, back in long time, obviously before Holy Fury, the system you used to swap it out. So you used to uh, get the books back in your inventory, for example, and then have a warehouse decorated with armors or something like that. But I assume now you just have to possess all of these things in the warehouse. You can only activate them one at a time. That makes more sense. They go warehouse one of once. That's probably, probably exactly how it works. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Hold a festival. Uh, sorry, hold a feast. Maybe not because, oh shit. No. It's a thief in my warehouse trying to take my, uh, I mean, to be fair, we've got crates of silver ingots. So yeah, absolutely. You hear several men talking. Oh God. Several men lose three goods. Nah, I'm not doing that. Then we're talking like two crates of silver and a crate of weapons and armor. That's really bad. Um, that was quality five. I feel like that was actually a good deal then. Face the men. The men didn't notice you following them. This could be an advantage, but it's dangerous to face so many men, commoners or not. Fight them. 79% chance we get wounded or a 21% chance we, we nail it and we gain 21, uh, or we gain 250 prestige and 200 assets. What choice do I have? We're a greedy, ambitious man. Fight them. Shit. <laughs> My fucking stuff. Um, we lost, what is that? Crate of silver and two crates of armor. God damn it. Well, that's a shame. You can't win them all, though, I guess. Uh, maybe that's based on personal combat, which would explain why we did so poorly there. Catalysman returned, no sanction needed. We gain cruel. Um, another day, I would have spared their lives. Not today. That gives us karma. Gives us karma by murdering men who stole cattle. Um, not sure about that, chief. Or we can get in karma by chucking them in prison and never letting them out. This None of this seems to add up. Am I misinterpreting what karma actually is? Um, Catalysman returned, no sanction needed. So we can gain karma 
by not killing them, we can gain karma by killing them, or we can gain karma by going in the middle ground and throwing them in the deepest, darkest pit. Does it make any fucking sense? Give me, give me that, just, I'll just take the flat karma, you're alright. Arms and other supplies have been brought to the hospital. Oh my god, we did build a hospital, what a waste of money. It's a gift from their Nagapo. Gives us 100 prestige, 50% chance of getting proud. Uh, we can take Zealous. We could take Zealous, that would be good. Ram provided this offering, we've become Gregarious and a respective ruler, all we're doing it for the people. Oh wow, all of these are good. Um, Brahma made it possible, become Zealous. Are we a particularly Zealous man? Not really. Um, the Ram provided this offering. He is just and kind, so I don't think this one, or the, I mean, he's not proud or anything. This is kind of hard to judge it based on the character we're playing right now. Um, Okay, in that case, I'll break the truce. Which do I think is the better trait in this scenario? 50% um, chance of getting Gregarious, 50% chance of getting Zealous. These two are jumping out at me in the most impressive ones. That gives Vassal Opinion plus 10. We have no fucking Vassals. Temple Vassal Opinion plus 10 and the 50 Karma from that too. Um, I think Zealous. Oh man, Gregarious though. Diplomacy plus 2 compared to the Marshal plus 2 with that one. Gregarious. Ah oh, man, this is hard to say. Gregarious. Does that suit him a bit more? I mean, if he's good with words, he's good with selling people things. Part of part of business is knowing how to sell things to people. So you know what? We failed. Doesn't matter anyway. It's irrelevant. Um, I'm thinking of items for activity. We can do it together. Festival and Barrow might catch us. That's the festival that I said no to doing. Credible. Right. Back to the market once again for round three. Can I buy some incense this time, please? Um, incense. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, ooh, expensive. Things are getting a little risky here, but we're okay. Decorate your warehouse. Use the incenses. Cool. So what does that give us? Uh, intrigue. Cool. Okay, I, I did sort of say that it might do that yesterday, didn't I? So that does make a lot of sense. Perfect. Let's take that one. Is that from... Is that from Mountain Blade? <laughs> it looks very Mountain Blade, doesn't it? Like the uh, like the note screen, the breakdown of how much money your realm's bringing in. There we go. Warehouse decorated with incense. Nice stuff. I think the intrigue is much more useful than the learning right now. Can we've got enough learning to sink a ship and we can't do anything with it because we're still a garbage old count. The old wound is healed. And more importantly... Wife is Perganonance. And the other one as well. Meow Deng is also Perganonance. So we could, best case scenario here, look at how well this worked out. Best case scenario, we get genius, we get strong, we get attractive. If we do that, this is officially 10 out of 10 scenario. It's so rare that that might happen. I trust a word. Let's just blitz through. Oh my god, we got the silk cloth too. Holy fuck. Can we decorate our warehouse again? I think we got a fully decorated warehouse now. What else do we need? Um... We haven't done the gold ingots. Right, right, that's all we need then. So let's head for market, get ourselves into even more debt. We are buying gold, because that is one thing ticked off. Nothing of interest. Um, I'll take the... We can buy the silver at a slightly reduced price there. 180 gold. Fuck it, I'll take that. Thank you. Let's see how these kids come out. I want to blitz through, get this done. Zhang Mo, come on. Genius, strong, attractive. <gasps> I'll take it. Is it... Oh, it's a daughter. Fuck. Oh, we can... that's an error rare though, so it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Um, right, so what have we not done? I don't remember. What did we train the last one in? Oh, that was uh, that was in etiquette, right? So let's go this way around. Let's go this way around. Like I said, let's random this wheel somewhat. We can designate the S, but it doesn't really matter. Let's try for a character who is strong and powerful. You will be called. What have we had? We've had Gummy Bonson. We've had. Um. <laughs> oh God, I've got to think of more puns now. Unbearable Bonson, the perfectly normal daughter with a mighty intellect, and the other kid should be here anytime soon as well. Um. Okay, had Charger. Oh my god, the horses. I completely forgot about the horse mechanic. Oh god, what have you done? She is embezzling money. She's got 26 learning. Uh, and to be honest, playing up in up in the Himalayas like this, we have characters with learning coming out of our ass. So, I'm going to say it's intolerable. No, disappointed but understandable because we don't want to leave the court. We pause it. She's gone into hiding because she's about to have a babby. Okay, right, right. Oh! Gummy Bonson, the second. Gummy Bonson, the second. The boy who is strong and genius and attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, well, I guess not then. You are pride, right? Because we did we did struggle last time. Gummy the second. Sure, welcome aboard. You're a bit shitty, but hey, we'll give you a fair shot still, my son. You might prove us all wrong. Her in prison. Goodbye. And then that event, I honestly thought for a second we'd fucking died then. That scared the life out of me. Striking at one of the servants, ripping her to shreds for dismantling. I thought that we were about to die. Thank God for that. That would have been, uh, no tiger slain. Who cares? You know what? I got a tiger slay right here. But when I banish this woman, goodbye. Oh, we can't banish her. She's married to one of our courtiers. God, shit. Oh, we can. 100 gold. 
We're almost out of debt, boys. And we've almost done the warehouse side of things. This is going to be the world's greatest bloodline. I, I better be for the amount of effort I'm putting into it here. I think I think we're bankrupt in the round to do it, but my god, it will work. Um, this guy, two pouches of spices for 229 gold. Come on, a scam. How dare you? You caught the fraud. Ask for what you paid for. Um, we still lose it. I don't want that. I'm just going to threaten to report him. Fuck him. He offers you four heavily discounted sets of military equipment in exchange for your pardon. You don't even have to pay the thousand coins right away. He offers you on credit. No. Um, so we either get two lots of spices for 229 gold and 100 assets. Um, or we get four crates of weapons and armor for a thousand coins. I think we're, we're just man. Report him. Report him to that. Report him to the authorities. That's us, by the way. We're, we're the authorities. And finally, that will do as well, my friend. So we need to get, what is it, the highest rank so that we can, oh man, we don't seem to be earning too many, uh, why have we not ranked up ever? Is it because I keep spending the assets on things? Maybe we should just rank up. Let's go and buy those meats. Let's rank up. The second we can unlock the ability to actually start. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you want this time? Wool cloths. Fine. That's never failed us, so I'm going to roll with it. My point was going to be we need to get to the highest rank so we can see what else we need to do for the bloodline. Just in case there's some really long-term shit that I'm missing out on. There's your meat. Right, okay. So let's uh, ventilate the incense. Receive the goods back in. Oh, right, cool. Roll up the silk banners. Place bookshelves now. We're not going to do that. Um, let's deliver these trade goods then. Deliver the meat shipment, and then we should be able to rank up now, right? Oh my god, we're so close. And we got the large returns again. I mean, that that seems to have... I mean, we've probably got incredibly lucky. I mean, it is just percentage chance at the end of the day. But it always seems to be worth it, huh? Let's rank up. Um, No, I, I trust her. I trust her word. Oh, and there we go with Journeyman Trader as well. Cool. So we just need to become Master Trader, and then we can start working on that bloodline. That seems to be one of the longest things to do here. So is it the ma It's the highest rank. Yeah, there we go. Forge Gone Bloodline create a center of trade. Cool. Son was born to Gummy Bonson and Lian Maodeng named Yum Tan. Another genius son. Oh my god. Uh, Yum Tan. Uh, how about Pom? How about just Pom? Just Pom Pom is a good name. You know, it's uh, it's uh, uh, shit. What is Pom? Is it not like a like a like a slur for a British person? I'm thinking that's right. You know, like limey. It's not really a slur, but like uh, like an old wartime thing, see? Uh, there you go. You are called Pom. And that's the only reason I've gone for that name. There's definitely no association between Poms and normally... Uh, there might just be a very British joke. I'm not sure if you have uh, Pom people across the across the sea. Right. Go to the market. Let's head to the market. The, another guy trying to scam me. No. Call him out. Fuck off. Uh, ask what you pay for. So we get two sacks of silk cloths. I think if we do that, we get a good deal, don't we? And this guy wants to give us the weapons and armor again, or we can get those. Is that a good deal for the silk cloths? I really have no idea. I mean, it implies, by the fact that you gain assets, that it probably would be, right? Um, do we want to just try and get up to the merchant rank, though, as soon as possible? So it must be a merchant rank for three years, and then 2,000 assets. Half of you have Master Trader. Um, you know what? I'll take those. I'll take those instead. Oh, my God. The Mad Maharaja has decided in his infinite wisdom to relieve you of your post as Chancellor. Glitterhoof, his beloved horse, will be taking your place. You're forced to watch the indignity of watching as Glitterhoof is led into the council chambers and appointed Chancellor. You are truly an insane man. We still haven't fabricated any claims, by the way. Um, I feel like Chancellor has been paid off, so let's take him out of the province and put him back in again. What I might even do is bump the percentage chance of that happening. Because he's got 26 diplomacy. He's got, uh, obviously, quite a high opinion of us there. And still only 16% chance. And we're a count. So, might bump that up for the future. Another boring old child here. You will be called... <laughs> These puns are getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? We haven't had a Joris for a while. Have we got a Joris this generation? Gummy pon? No. You know what? Let's let's pay let's pay some tribute to the man, our father, who founded this whole dynasty. Who whom is the namesake of the tower? Joris the third. Wait, Joris the second. Wait, what are we? Uh, there is a th uh, there is another Joris somewhere, but he obviously doesn't become Joris the second because he didn't he didn't inherit. So that guy could be technically Joris the second. But doing a little bit of trading in the background here, I'm currently looking for alcohol so that we can fulfill another one of these missions. Then we are very, very close to being actually able to get it to Master Trader. No one sells bloody alcohol. Send me some goddamn alcohol, damn it. If not, I'm just buying whatever we can to really top up the warehouse here. We've got so much shit going on right now. Um, decorate with silk. Ooh. Although, I think someone's trying to kill us. Um, you know, we get a pop-up saying, someone in your realm is trying to kill you dead. So we're trying to work out who that is. So for the time being, we'll keep up. How dare you. That was a bad investment. 
Trying to keep the intrigue up so we can try and track down who's doing it and who's killing us dead. Repay the loan. Oh my god, we could be Midas touched. Um, I should be doing this as much as possible, to be honest with you. Come on. Midas touched. Bitch. Okay. We could. We could. And this seems like a silly play. Bear with me on it. Oh, oh, oh. Does it seem like a silly play, though? Does it seem like a silly play? We've got Midas touched, and we've still only got level 2 debt. I think the level 2 debt really does nothing, to be honest with you. Lockbook, plus modifier, plus 5%. Who cares? 31 stewardship. This, today, has been an absolute adventure in trading, in maximizing profits. And now I've learned so much. Oh, God. Glitterhoof. Gl Glitterhoof was appointed. Glitterhoof died. We got reappointed. Then a new Glitterhoof has taken our job again. Fuck's sake. Right, come on. Sell me some alcohol before we're done. Uh, grains and pots into alcohol. Oh, my God. Because I have potteries and grains. It's so good. I love this mod so much. I really do. Right. That's good news for us then. So we can. Um, unbearable. What's wrong with you? Uh, my game fussy. Uh, I don't know if fussy is good for struggle. Rowdy is good. But um, I say I'll go and... Shit. Well, never mind. Doesn't matter too much. Um, I did try to do proper accounting. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, we it's either that or we get a bit angry and go a bit crazy with it. Right. Let's uh, let's deliver our trade goods. Send the alcohol shipment. Gain some gold. Fulfill another mission. Rock to 426. So I've been using, obviously, a lot of our assets here to get up to those higher ranks. Come on. I believe. I believe we can do this. Wow, that seems to have taken years and years. I can't believe how much time has passed this episode alone. We're 44, and our wife, the one that we betrothed fucking ages ago, finally ready. Prodigy, homosexual, but she's got lustful, but kind of balances it out there. Uh, she is, however, uncouth, which is kind of annoying, but she's got that prodigy trait. So you know what? Do it. Do it. Bring her on board. Send her a gift. Demand a religious conversion if possible as well. Let's try and make her like us as much as possible. Um, nothing like getting her to turn her back on her religious ideals to make her like us a little bit. There we go. Try swearing her as well. As far as I'm concerned, we're in a pretty good scenario. Two of our concubines are strong and attractive. Our wife has prodigy. So as far as the eugenics is going, we're on top form with that. We've got 875 gold that I'd love to build something with, but unfortunately we haven't got any tech points. So it's not really a huge amount of things to build here. Um, if we get a guarded warehouse. Do you think that will... Oh my god, provides good protection against thieves and trade goods. Holy shit, what am I doing? I should have built that a hundred years ago. Artifact Vault as well would probably also make sense. It's got a, a higher level of the Merchant Guild too. Spend a bit of this cash elsewhere. I'm trying not to go to the market so much for the time being until we've got to that next level of Guildmaster or at least wait until we've got 2,000 in the bank and spend over that so that when we actually have the opportunity to rank it, we've already been in it three years, so we might as well just save up, get to that highest level, then we can clearly see what we have left to do to get the Golden Bloodline. In the meantime, thank you all for watching. I think I've recorded about four hours worth of friggin' footage today, so I'm gonna have to comb through this, try and get a decent video together. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this play style, the more sort of tall style of, uh, of count for the time being with the, with the trade league and with the stewardship education. Obviously, as we progress here, our game style is going to have to switch over to Marshall a little bit so that we're capable of expanding. That's be when we'll have the faster episodes, a bit more, bit more tension, a bit more warfare, things like that. And then, of course, we'll have to flip over to diplomacy eventually to try and keep our realm together somewhat. I will up the percentage chance of the Fabricate claim succeeding because right now we don't really have many opportunities to expand anywhere at all. I believe we don't have any claims against this guy at all right now. Yeah, still none. Um, so all we can do, the, literally the only war we can declare right now is independence, which is obviously not ideal, given that the whole point of joining this guy was to swallow him up from the inside. I, I don't know why it's so strict on fabricating claims right now. I feel like there's something, something weird going on there. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is going to be a hell of an episode when I get around to editing it. Thank you to Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Bean, Pacuna Vasquez, Fluffinutter, Ghost to Protocol, Gogla, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Natbuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilin, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok, Swain, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Pacuus Backers, and William Green for their support at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you very much for making the channel possible. Thanks for making this series and Rimworld and Series A when that comes back. A little, a little few more details on that coming soon, I hope. Um, just trying to get that as good as it can be for hopefully obvious reasons. Thank you as well to Astro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Austin Taylor, Attila, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Batman Smacks, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Duncan 217, Easy to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Durs, Gaz, Genji Circle, Gompo, Gray, Haji Demar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Icy the Grey, Ida, Irish, 
Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Sammy, Panthpel, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Rodrigo, Ryan Hooper, Smokeworm, Socrates, Super Nanny, 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Valonkari, Varagon, Buddha Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow.